a lot of times when I uh, use the markers, I do a lot of um, doodling like this, my, my girly drawings. When I use the multi liner. So I'll go around some of those stamps and stencils that I've done, but those I won't use on fabric because you'll just ruin. You'll ruin it. Yeah. Now, is that paint? Uh, yeah, it's acrylic paint. And you don't have any problems with the paint getting in your marker nails? No, you okay. know what? You want to make sure that when you uh, use these, that your paint's dry. Right. If you right. make sure that your paint's dry, you won't have any problem. Okay. Whenever I work, I just open the page and I pop it open. Not really planning too much. And it's fun this way because like I, I'll do, you know, a few marks like this and then just leave it and maybe like a week later come back and like actually journal and write in some of the areas. This is the brush pens, these little guys. So they're great because you can get like almost a more of a calligraphy look. Thin. So I use these a lot for like the journaling part of my work where I write, um, le write letters and words and then I'll use the smaller, um, the smaller nibs to write to either fill in or you know just write in like smaller sections. A bunch of the markers, pens, um, all different sizes, and um, that's how I kind of layer them when I'm writing. I'll start with just the background and filling in. I love the wide ones too. Those are actually my favorite. And the key to the like any kind of doodling like this is really, you know, just being free and really not worrying about like being like and making it perfect and you see you notice how I work like on like three or four different things at once for me it's easier to um, kind of switch between things because it keeps me and my creativity flowing